Well, good afternoon. I'm back on trail. It is currently almost five o'clock. We spent the day in Idlewild yesterday. Gave the girls a day off. Now we're back at it. Well, good morning. It's about 8.20ish on the 25th of April. Been out here for, shoot, almost 20 days. Be 19 now, I believe, something like that. Anyways, we've gone over 150 miles. We hit uh, Paradise Valley Cafe. We stopped there. The girls and I did a 25.3 mile day before that. Spent the night there. In the morning, I got up, hiked the point eight into town, had breakfast with everybody. We had lunch there, like we just hung out from breakfast all the way through to a lunch. Then we ended up catching a hitch from there into Idlewild. Um, spent the night there at a cabin. There's eight of us all together. The tram only grows daily, it seems. Um, right now, we are back in the mountains. We are headed up to San Jacinto, planning to do eight miles today. Then I think it's like 12 and 12 or something like that to put us up over the peak and down back into Idlewild. Once we are there, the plan is to get picked up by Jenna's mom. All of us, the whole tram is going out to Palm Springs. We'll spend the day there, kind of refit, kind of adjust everything as needed. Um, as things go along, as we figure, we start to kind of realize what gear we need, what we don't, what we use, what we can get rid of, all that kind of stuff like that. Like, I may end up trying to find a double mat for the girls and I, something to take up less room than the two mats I have right now, because I got a self-inflating one, which takes up a significant amount of my pack. And then the girls' mats actually just wrapped up on the outside of my pack. Um, thinking about getting rid of my sleeping bag, and exchanging that for a quilt because I never zip it up anyways because Lucy's always crawling into bed with me. I um, think those two things might help save a little bit of room space. Other than that, everything's working out pretty well. My back's completely falling apart and bursting at all the seams, but I expected that. Um, other than that, the girls are doing good. Little sore spots on their paws. I've had one blister so far. Nothing significant or terrible. Um, but yeah, things are going good for us out here. Um, looking forward to some snow because we've been in a lot of heat lately, especially these deserts, you know. The desert is a lot nicer and greener, as you can see, than normal. But what I'm waiting for is that up there. You see that little section of snow out there? That's where we're heading. Looking forward to it. It might be a little chilly, but I can handle it. Anyways, so that's kind of where things stand now. Things are going great. Love life. Never thought I'd actually be out here doing this, but here we are. Sweet babies.
That is a big angry snake, girls. Come on, buddy. Think they miss snow? <laughs> Is that good stuff, baby? Nice cold snow. Well, good morning. It's about nine o'clock. A little late start out of camp, but not looking forward to the climb out. It's a real steep climb getting down here to this campground we stayed at last night at Cedar Springs. Really nice campground though. We had a great time. We had a bonfire going and whatnot. And, you know, of course we had to be the ones that serving the peace up until hike or midnight. But either way, today's plan, we're going seven or eight miles. So we hit the snow line. Everybody wants to kind of regroup there, reevaluate, decide what's going on from there. For your worst case scenario, Kester and I drop our packs and push on, see how it looks, and then we'll go from there. But I'll touch base at the end of this climb, see how far out I really am. Well, we made it to the top. Uh, only took 45 minutes or so, but pretty epic view up here. Girls are whining, so I gotta get going, otherwise they're gonna keep hassling me. They wanna move. But yeah, about to be back on trail. But look at that. Epic view behind me. I know this is pretty great, but that's better.
buddy. So in case you're ever wondering what kind of hazards you run into, so there's the trail. And you got this big old tree knocked over. There's the trail again. Look at this. I gotta climb through all this just to get across. that fall if we work <laughs> oh we're dead fucking SOS fall down that you ain't gonna be able to hit it good morning it's currently shit I don't even know I don't got my watch on um we're moving got out of camp oh, about eight o'clock I think this morning just hit our first kind of sketchy snow patch looks like we're walking on to another one here real quick but so, big things were decided last night. Um, the tramways a few miles ahead of us. They spent the night a couple miles ahead. Um, I misunderstood what the plan was. So that's on me. But, I think I'm gonna pull the girls off the trail today. We're gonna go into town, into Idlewild. Probably spend two or three days there at least. Let these two recover some. Um, their paws are getting better. They aren't as tore up right now, but I still feel bad for them. So, uh, probably gonna end up losing the tramway. That's all right. I hope they have a great journey. The girls and I will just keep pushing on and eventually we'll get to Washington and make our way up to Canada. View. Great. Gotta love it. I'll touch base later.
So, some of the joys out here. See that tree? Trail. Trail goes right behind all that and continues on right along them bushes. It's a fucking obstacle course. some of their uh, tackle for it, tack. It's unfortunate. Look at this. So word on the street is the fire that got started out here and burnt all this was because of a neighborly dispute. Some jackass thought it'd be a good idea to light his neighbor's land on fire. And it caught everything. So word of the wise, don't be a jackass. So we just came from there. There's the peak. There's one side drop off. There's the other side drop off. Fuck your life if you fall down there. Or down there. I think that's some nonsense. You know, you know how we're gonna get through all this. We gonna figure it out. It's mom's view from here. I think she'd love it. So as you can tell, everything's melting, which is great, gives us great water sources. But that, right there, is the trail. I gotta say, this is kind of awesome. Big old waterfall. It's up to my ankles. Look at that though. So much water. Never know this was desert. And I'm live here at Idlewild. And you know what these two wonderful puppy woos are? They're PCTers. And they go on the PCT trail and hike with their wonderful um, human. And isn't that fun? And you know what their dream is to do today is to meet the mayor. So if Phyllis is around with Mayor Max, um, it, what were the name of the dogs? That is Athena. Hi, Athena. <laughs> and how old are you, Athena? Athena is eight years old. Eight years old. Oh my God. And you're beautiful. And you're. Yeah. And where is Athena from? Washington. And that is Lucy over there. And this is Lucy. She's almost 10. And you're almost 10. Oh my God. And your name is? Sean. Everybody's calling me two dogs. Two dogs. And you've been on the BCT how often? Uh, this is our third week, actually. 
Um, yeah, but is it your first time on no, the PCT? No, ma'am. We've also done Donner Pass, and then we're from Washington, so we did a couple of the sections throughout there. Awesome. Yeah, this is their first through hike on it. This, oh, this is so exciting. And do you have, like, a blog or something that people can follow their journey? Absolutely. Their Instagram is the number two, tails underscore adventures. <gasps> see, and then we can see them and experience them and and enjoy their journey.